Hi everyone, this is Anne. This video is going to be on treating hyperpigmentation, sun damage, and skin discoloration of the upper chest area. And sun damage takes 20 to 30 years typically to show up in your skin after exposure to the sun. I've heard several doctors over the years say that more aging than wrinkles is an uneven skin tone. And the upper chest is an area that can go neglected. People tend to focus on their face and forget about the sun damage and the discoloration that really can age you that's on your chest. So about five years ago in the summer of 2012 is when I really noticed that my chest had a lot of sun damage, a lot of hyperpigmentation on it, and it just looked really not good. And I dug up a picture from that time and I'll go ahead and insert that now so that you can see that I had a lot of discoloration hyperpigmentation on my upper chest and I also had it along my lower jawline. I had it was almost like a, I used to tell my daughter that it looked like I had a sunspot beard because it was right along my lower jawline and I absolutely hated the look of that. I recently did a video on how I treat the sun damage and hyperpigmentation of my face and I'll link that video beneath this video in the description box and at the end of this video as well. In case you're interested in taking a look at that video, I do use slightly different things for my face than I did on my chest. And since I am a total do-it-yourself type of girl, and I never go into med spas or anything like that to have any treatments done, I just do everything at home on my own. And I am not a medical professional. This is just what I did personally. And I would always recommend everybody do their own research before trying any type of skincare products. But I wanted to share with you what worked for me because I did do a after picture and I just went out today and took this picture showing what my chest looks like today in comparison to five years ago and I really think that after just one treatment of what I did I saw probably about I feel like it's about a 75 percent improvement to my skin so what I did is I purchased a 20% TCA peel and I'll put all product information beneath this video in the description box. This is not a sponsored video. I purchased this on my own. The company knows nothing about me doing this video. I just used this product, saw really good results on my upper chest with it, and thought I would share the information with you. But a TCA peel is good for all skin tones and types, and I used two layers of this, and I applied it from about my collarbone all the way down to about here, about where your cleavage starts, and I did apply two layers of it. It took seven to ten days to fully peel off, and I did apply this during the winter time in December because I was able to wear scarves and higher neck shirts to hide the peeling. So I would recommend using a peel on that area during more winter months when you can hide it better than in the summer months. And I really think that this improved the look of my chest skin by about 75%. TCA peels help with hyperpigmentation, sun damage, lines, and wrinkles, and they remove the dead, damaged skin cells, and they help to promote new cell and collagen growth. I purchased the very smallest little bottle of it. I believe this is a half of an ounce, and I think I paid around $25 to $30 for it. I just applied it the one time. I did apply two layers and I just followed the instructions that came with the peel. I only purchased the peel only. They have some other options that you can purchase things, but I only got the peel, and I was very happy with the results of this. Another thing that I do on my chest area is after I was done with the peeling from the TCA peel, I started using a fade cream, and 
I like hydroquinone fade creams. Some people are against that ingredient, and so if you are, there are plenty of non-hydroquinone fade creams that can be used in place of it. And if you do use a hydroquinone fade cream, you only want to use it for four months and then cycle off of it and use a non-hydroquinone fade cream for one month, and then you can go back on the hydroquinone, hydroquinone, and... I have a couple that I like because over the counter you can purchase a 2% or a 3% and then if you want a 4% you need to go to your doctors or I think Obagi has a 4% as well. And I have one in a cream form. I also have one and this is a 3%. I also have a 2% that's a body lotion and you can use this anywhere. I just mix these at nighttime with my Retin-A and I apply it to my chest. I also apply it to the backs of my hands and my face and my neck. And it just helps to even up the skin tone and minimize the sun damage and hyperpigmentation on the skin. And that is what I've done so far to improve the look of the sun damage and hyperpigmentation on my chest. I will be doing another peel this fall and I'll probably go ahead and just film that so that I can show you guys the application and the whole peeling process. So look for that. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos if you enjoy them. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I truly appreciate it.